Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of GeoGuessr. Are we going to get started directly as usual, I guess? Should we go downhill? I guess we go uphill actually, because, you know, it's a little bit more fun if we get a little bit of a better view, you know, going up the hill like this. Um, yeah, so it's been going kind of good lately. I'm actually recording this. Oh, let's see. Is this? Oh, stop! Uh, yeah! Ha! <laughs> Road 723, we're obviously in Norway. Um, it says, oh yeah, I don't know if that means island or I, because it's kind of, kind of the same. You know, uh, again, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so let's see if we can find the right road first of all. It should be 723. I mean, I haven't seen any three digit roads so far in Norway. At least not, you know, here. Is it even. Where is it? Come on! Well, <laughs> right now, I don't even see any roads. As you can see, 78. Okay, yeah, are we. I don't think we're that close, actually. Is it. Oh my god, what if we're over it? No, we shouldn't be. Um, that's a little bit weird, I guess. I mean, maybe it's a really, really tiny road of some sort. Oh, that's 213, okay. I want 723, though. Yeah, uh, let's continue up a little bit, see if we can find something nice here. I mean, some nice view or something, at least. It feels like we're kind of, you know, in the more southern parts, in this fat part of Norway. I mean, the other parts aren't as fat to be honest. <laughs> Norway is kind of squeezed along the coastline there up so yeah uh, let's see what we can find basically. I mean it fe feels you know hilly as I said but not not uh, mountainous still so yeah let's see what we can find basically. I mean the road name didn't give, give me much. I mean it might be a little tiny road somewhere or it might be you know a road just a normal road maybe you know maybe here. Is this no, that's a road with an actual name instead of a number. That's not too good. Uh, 213, I mean, it should, shouldn't be that hard. I mean, <laughs> the name of the road is actually 723, I think it was. I mean, we rarely have any... We don't even have any three-digit roads, so... That's kind of weird, yeah. Uh, let's see if we can move on a little bit further. As I said, you know, it does kind of feel like we are in the southern parts, even though not as far south as earlier. I might be completely wrong though. There's 715 as well. Oh, close to Trondheim. That's actually kind of far north. There we go. So let's zoom in and see if we can find <laughs> road 715. Oh, that's 715. Okay. Sure. Sure thing. Yeah. <laughs> are, we, are we up here then? Yeah. Maybe we are. I mean... Oh, the road... I mean... FV? I can't even read it. I mean, sure, let's see. Say that we are kind of close. Let's see. We are actually looking almost straight south right now. So, is this that's 715 again? Okay, 723 then. Are you somewhere around? I don't know. <laughs> kind of hard. Uh, let's put it southwest of Trondheim then, I guess. Why, why not? You know, I can't really, as you can see, I don't even see. Let's make the guess. God damn it. Okay. Oh, we're actually far further north. Is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, it's still almost as close as you can get. So I'm not, I'm not displeased. Let's see. Uh, Visite Gude Domain Terra Vecchia. Close Poggiada. I mean, sounds kind of Italian. We're not in Italy too often though, so that'd be kind of nice actually if we, if we are somewhere in Italy. I've been there in real life, so let's see what this sign says uh, oh let's go back a step yeah there we go uh, degustacion vente visite gure i don't know let's see stada di essenzi okay sure and um, i guess we are in italy i mean i don't know for sure so we will totally try to, to see some more signs see what they say is this italian vine Vine. It's not even vine. It's wine. Um, so let's see what we can find. No. Okay. Sure. Is it? Ah, look at this one. La Chalet. Specialities. The positions. It fruits them. I mean, it's not Spanish. At least it's not Portuguese either. I guess not. Um, so let's let's move on a little bit further. I mean, it seems kind of nice. I don't know if this is wine fields or whatever it is. But. Yeah, 
Let's see what we can find. I mean, I, I want a proper, you know, destination sign, not only commercial signs. It would be kind of nice if we could get something. Let's see. Sol Arena. Oh, there we are. Okay, let's, let's take a look. Bastia and Calvi. Moita. Okay. Uh, Casamosa. Bastia and Calvi, is that Italian? It might be. Um, so let's see. Bastia and Calvi. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know where you <laughs> have wine in Italy though. Bastia, I mean, it, it should be should be some place to actually recognize. It, it kind of feels familiar in some way. Bastia. I don't know. And Calvi. Um, I would guess that we are somewhere in the central parts of Italy. I might be completely wrong though. We might not even be in Italy. So that's kind of okay. Let's see what this one says. Oh. Porto Vecchio. Bonifacio. I mean. Porti Vecchio? Okay. <laughs> Porti Vecchio? Are we close to some other country, maybe? Since they, they write it in two languages, I'm a little bit confused. Porto, I mean, it's kind of, kind of, uh, sorry, Portuguese, but still, I mean, Portivecchio? It's not really <laughs> a language I recognize at all. Bonifacio, okay. Bonifacio, I mean, those names kind of sound familiar. I don't know, let's let's move on a little bit further. We might be in Portugal. We might be in some weird goddamn place. Um I guess it's more likely. I mean, yeah. Let's see. Talone and Muita. Okay. Or we might even be in Mexico. I don't know. No, I don't, this doesn't feel like Mexico. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's the same. Bastia. There's blue spots on the registration sign at least, so we should be in Europe, yeah, and let's see if we can... <laughs> I'm a little bit speechless right now, I don't know really where we are at all. As I said, Bastia, it does sound... are we maybe in, you know, in the borderlands here? Bastia? I don't know, I mean... We're not up in the Alps, at least, I can tell you that for a fact. Bastia, is that... That might be French. Oh, Dijon, that mustard is kind of nice, actually. Um, Bastia. Seriously? <laughs> is it Nas or I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Um, damn it. <laughs> I'm, I'm completely lost, I must admit. Uh, let's see. Restoration, okay, something. Procante. I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something obvious here. Vin. Are you serious? Okay. I mean... Did it say Riva Bella? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I want her feels being behind the Google car. You know, you, you, you must have the feelings, oh damn, they're watching me. They gotta watch me. Uh, let's see. Restaurant. I mean, that's not... Thalasso. Riva Bella, we must be in Italy. We must be. I guess so. Let's let's put it in, in the northern parts of Italy. Maybe maybe over here. Sure, here, bam. Oh, Corsica. Okay, sure. Or is this? This is Sardinia, I guess. So and this is Corsica. Yeah. So we were actually in, in France. <laughs> or is? Wait a minute. Is this island? Which island is France? I can't remember. One of them is France and one is Italy. I think Corsica is French and Sardinia is Italian. Yeah, because Cagliari plays in the Italian football league. Okay, so we were actually in France. Uh, a little bit confusing, but sure. Yeah, I mean, kind of makes sense when I didn't recognize the language. Um, something to learn from, I guess. This seems kind of awesome, you know, an early morning down this road. I would totally want to, to go here. It's kind of beautiful, actually. Um, yeah, I guess. Let's go, let's go. Over here. I mean, I don't know where we would, would go else. I mean, it's like, it doesn't really matter which way we go, because it seems to be equally... Oh, we can't go any further, okay. <laughs> then it matters where we go, if we can't go any further the other way. Um, sure. Let's see if we can find some kind of society over here. My gut says, you know, Germany, maybe. 
Um, yeah, I can't really explain why. Maybe Germany, France, somewhere in between there. Without knowing for sure though, I mean, yeah. Let's see if we can find something of interest. I hope so. Yeah, oh, it's a car. Let's see, is it? I see the blue dot. We are within the European Union. That's good. Feels kind of like a nice society though. I gotta say, it reminds me a little bit of... <clears throat> we can't be in Britain though, I think not. Feels a little bit too un-British, if you can say it like that. Uh, it's a really nice house though, I must say. I mean, I, I can imagine though the World War II soldiers going through here. I can really see it happening. Uh, let's see... Tenture renovation something... We might actually, might we be in England? Uh, Sol Suple? No, we're not. Okay. I don't know, I don't know. We, we move on, I guess. This the one didn't tell me too much. That's actually an, a nice house as well. I would totally want to live here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a typical small city somewhere. I can't really tell where though. I mean, it's, it's kind of cold. You can see it on the trees. So I would guess that we are not in the southern parts of Europe. I mean, it feels like early spring somewhere. They have just, you know, gone out on the fields and, and put things on them, <laughs> whatever you call it. Uh, let's see, Le Hôpital. Oh, nice. Le Hôpital, okay. I mean, we're obviously in France. I would guess the northern parts, as I said. Le Hôpital, I mean, we might not even be in France, but you know, somewhere close at least. Um, yeah. Let's see, Prudence. We might actually be in, in Holland even, uh, or you know Belgium. Maybe Belgium feels like somewhere in between, and it might be, might be, totally right. A little bit dull, and then I don't know. <laughs> uh, we can move on a little bit further and see if we can find something a little bit more interesting. Except for you know nice houses. I must say I, I do like it. Can I go in here? I cannot. Okay, that's too bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, let's see what this one says. Turning. Or maybe Torno. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it might be the Channel Islands. I don't know. I've never been there. Feels. Nah, we're not in Britain. Oh, actually, we should totally take a look at the car anyway. As you can see, the steering wheel are on the left side, so we are not on any of the British Isles. Which is kind of good to know, yeah. Um, oh, there we go, some more signs. Uh, Sor Marie, Les Marauds, Foyer Communal, Tennis, <laughs> Saint Florentine, okay, sweet, oh my god, this is a nice little city, cute little city, I must say, Le Hôpital, Courtchamp, um, I mean, it doesn't help me out in any way though, but it's, sure, it's cute, you know, it's a nice little, let's see, Bar, Tabac, Restaurant, okay, sweet. Oh, that's a flag, that's a flag. Is it... Is that the French flag? I mean... I kind of have to be, you know? I was thinking Luxembourg for a while, but you know, it doesn't... I can't... Let's see, the French flag has its stripes not horizontally, but vertically. This seems right. But let's go with France, yeah. <laughs> a little bit weird thinking there. Uh, sure, let's go towards tennis, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I mean, I, I do like the city a lot, actually, I have to say. Um, it gives me a feeling, you know, as I said, it could as well have been Britain in one way. You know, a small British town. Uh, it kind of reminds me of it. Yeah. Mm, I mean, let's let's go with on the borderlands towards Belgium. Sure, bam. Okay, we were actually much further south than I thought, but you know, it's still it's still the northern parts of Fran France. So I'm not displeased, even though I lost almost a little bit more than 600 points there. Um, what the hell are you doing? Uh, having some sort of an affair? I don't know. Maybe you're relaxing or something. Uh, this smells rushy a long way, though. I have to say, uh, we'll totally see. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oknunha. Sure. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Nice painted little bus 
stop though. Yeah, that's a good way to spend taxpayers' money. Uh, let's see. Ok, not no. Yep. <laughs> ok, not no. Okay, let's see if we can find something looking like it. It should be two H's and two backwards M's on a row. Sort of like this, but yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, as I said, or as I've said many times, kind of birch trees reminds me, you know, kind of close to the Baltic Sea, maybe. And the road isn't too shabby either, so it might be, you know, kind of close to a bigger city in which they have, um, yeah, you know, they, they take a little bit extra care of the road since I guess it's, you know, a little bit closer to, to bigger cities, basically. <laughs> and you tend to, to spend more money on it, I guess. I, I couldn't tell for sure, though. But, you know, it's, it's kind of a hunch I, I have, maybe. Um, could we guess that we are close to Poland, maybe? I don't know. Let's see if we can have anything down here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No. <laughs> Once again, I really need to, to start learning the Russian alphabet because I want to become even better. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. No. Okay, sure. Let's move on a little bit further then, I guess. I mean, it's not. Russia is it's always the same. It's, I mean, it's not really that fun, really. I mean, it's kind of the same wherever you are. Uh, oh, let's see what this one says. Boro Monobo. <laughs> I, I'm sure that's not the name at all, but you know. Boro Monobo? Anywhere? Anywhere? No? No? Nothing? Nothing around here? Boro Monobo? I mean, we would be kind of sweet actually if we, if we were able to, to just find it. Um. I'm not too keen. Oh, actually, okay, we have Belarus in the way. <laughs> I was like, this is Poland, but no, obviously not. Can we? Let's just check this out a little bit quickly. Uh, Borobonoma? Borobonoma? No, Borobonoma? Okay, maybe not. No, I mean, nah. Maybe we are over here, even. I don't know. Um. <laughs> Now let's let's guess if we are kind of here. Bam! Make the guess. Sure. I mean, that's Russia for you, I guess. <laughs> um, I have no clue how I would have been able to actually guess that in any way. Uh, still, three thousand, two thousand five hundred, almost two thousand seven hundred points in Russia. That's not bad. I'm I'm not displeased at all. And the last one. We are somewhere with a bad camera. I don't like it. No one likes it. Uh, it stinks. No, I mean, in this case, it stinks. You have to agree, you know, when you can't even read any of the signs. Did that car just travel on the left side of the road? I guess we are in Australia somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a good thing at all. At least to know, you know. I don't want to, you know, be on the wrong side of the Pacific Ocean. Um, sure, Australia. Kind of hot. Not within you know we're not in the desert parts the big question though are we on the right or the west coast that's kind of the the hardest thing when it comes to australia and um, but since you know we have kind of oh can we oh does it say i can't come on seriously now oh no seriously if it says brisbane do you have a city i think you have is this it can't be brisbane brisbane no i don't think so <laughs> Uh, but we can be close to Brisbane actually that's kind of a possibility at least if nothing else am I going the wrong way again I don't think so I can't read anything I'm sorry I mean I don't like this I don't think you like it either um, can we read this one one mile creek sounds like my butt crack no um, god damn it I, I, I don't like <laughs> When it turns out this way, no. But I, I still want to make a qualified guess. Um, should we go for the east coast? I guess we totally should. I mean, there's no reason not to. Let's go right in between Sydney and Brisbane. Bam. Actually, slightly north of Brisbane, but I'm not displeased. You know, Australia is kind of the same as Russia. If you get 
a certain amount of points, then it's a good thing. I mean, 20,000 points with Australia and Russia, that's good. I'm not complaining. This one was kind of hard. Uh, I should be a little bit on, you know, I, sh I should learn until the next time if I ever end up on Corsica again. That, you know, we can actually be on an island that doesn't remind you either of Italy or France, <laughs> I guess. Uh, and then the French one, nah, not not bad, but not good either. The Norwegian one, close enough. I mean, I do know where Trondheim is, so that's a good thing. Russia, bleh. Australia, bleh. I know that <laughs> I have activated the, the whole screen mode. I know, so yeah. Uh, whoop, yeah. Okay, thank you all for watching anyway. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. It's been kind of fun to record. Uh, this is a shame that they have kind of done this with with Krim or Crimea um, yeah but anyway hopefully you enjoyed this episode hopefully I'll see you all around until the next time leave a like if you want to and yeah I'll see you all around have a great time and goodbye <laughs>